the airport's going to be really busy. Wow. We have just checked into our hotel, which is the Dream Castle Hotel. It's a Disney Partner Hotel, and by far the nicest Disney Partner Hotel we've stayed in so far. I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a little room tour before we mess it all up. It's travel day to Disneyland Paris for our Christmas 2022 trip. I am Re. welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney, and a brand new vlog series. So my children are currently in school. They went off to school very, very excited this morning because after I pick them up, I've got all their clothes laid out. We're gonna do a super quick change, jump in the airport transfer, and head off for our EasyJet flight tonight to Disneyland Paris so that we will be there bright and early for the very first day of the Christmas season 2022. Make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on so you do not miss any of this magical vlog series. So if you saw the trip announcement or the pack with me video, you'll know that the packing's slightly different this time. I've actually got five check-in cases because I booked directly with EasyJet and they came included with our package. And then just one little case for my kind of laptop and stuff that I don't want to check in. The children have each got a carry-on bag, my husband's got a backpack, I've got my carry-on bags. I filled up everyone's drinks for the trip to the airport even though we will have to empty those out to go through security. Incidentally, security, that's something else we're doing slightly different this time. Someone pointed out after our last vlog series that because my children have autism, we would qualify for special assistance at the airport. Now of all the trips we've done, we've never done this before, we've never known about this. So this time I did contact EasyJet and they have booked us in for the special assistance. So I will let you know through the course of this vlog how we find that experience and whether it helps at all going through the airport. I have had an email from EasyJet saying to get there super early because the airport's gonna be really busy. So we just wanna make sure we get there in plenty of time. We do not wanna miss this flight. So I'm obviously in my travel day outfit. I've got my spirit jersey. I've even got Christmas nails. We're totally in the Christmas festive spirit. It's very, very exciting. I'm now gonna put all of the bags literally by the front door. So the only thing we've gotta do when I pick up the children is literally dress them, get in the car, and let's go to Disney. We are here at Bristol Airport. We went to the special assistance lane for EasyJet bag drop off, and then we've been to the special assistance desk, and the children have got these lanyards they've been given, and I've got a little card. We've got to take that to security so we can use the speedy security lane, and there is an option for a quicker way to board the plane as well, apparently, so we'll show you what kind of that looks like and we can discuss how it compares to boarding the standard way but it's definitely good to know that these options are available if you have got disabilities or hidden disabilities like autism and anyone in your party finds queuing and things like that difficult. made it through security. That took a really long time, I'll be fair. Um, we did, because we used the special assistance, skip the bit where you're queuing to go to security, but there were so many bags that needed checking. The guy on security actually said that he felt the person who was seeing which things needed extra checking being over cautious. Anyway, fair time through that, but time on screen now how long it took us to get through, and that's bearing in mind, we didn't have to stand a massive queue the other side. It's probably the busiest I've seen it, would you agree? security. So we've been to special assistance desk and they said that they want us to go back at half past five, which is cool, but it's now five o'clock. So we've not got time for a sit down meal. We've come to Burger King. I've ordered, but they haven't printed out my um, receipts. So we're on, what are we, nine, four? Three, six. Okay. They're on nine, four, two, five now. So we're just going to have to hope that they believe us because it did not print us a ticket today. No. It did not. Even with the special assistance, the airport is feeling really, really busy. 
feeling a bit rushed. We'll, we'll be glad when we're on the plane, won't we? Yeah. How are you? You, you, you alright? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Excited? This is my William, if anyone hasn't, uh, is new to the channel um, and hasn't met William before. He's a font of all Disney knowledge, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're going to get our food and hopefully answer some questions that were sent in on Instagram. So how is everybody's yeah, food? We need two again. It was good, yeah. Yeah? It was this much money. Last time we ate in Frank and Benny's so we had more time to waste and all of that was more expensive. I felt like that was perhaps better value. Um, I felt that this perhaps was quite expensive for what it is. Personally, would you agree? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's probably more than we'd spend on quick service food in Disney, to be honest, because normally we just share a few things for our quick service meal. Um, anyway, it's nearly time to head down to the special assistance desk. The board is saying that it's not released the gate information yet. Um, but the special assistance desk did ask us to go down there for 5.30, so I guess we'll better head down. I'm sitting here in the uh, passenger assistance waiting area and um, just waiting for gate info and I thought we'd answer some questions while we do that. You can answer some questions for me Zaza? Yeah. And Bella? Bella yeah. are you going to answer some too? Okay, should we see what we've got to answer? What are you most excited for seeing and or doing in the holiday season? Love your videos. William? I don't know, I'm quite excited to watch the parade. Oh, me too. Zara, what are you I'm excited, excited for? I'm excited to meet Marie. Um, well, it's not a guarantee Marie will be there. We've heard Marie from Aristocats is sometimes there for the holiday season. So. I'm excited to see the decorations. Me too, definitely. And the Christmas um, snacks. And the snacks, yeah. And the snacks. And, the snacks. and I want to go on Big Thunder. I also really, 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 really want to go on It's a Small World. I know, I don't think it's Small World's open yet. She really, want, really, really, really wants to go on Big Thunder because it's one of her favourites. And it was actually closed last trip, wasn't it? Um, so we went on it in the June trip, but it was closed last trip, so I believe it's open again now. I'm excited for the snack, the parade and the Disney Dreams of Christmas illuminations, fireworks type thing. That's yeah. going to be really, really exciting as well. You're excited to go back to Avengers Campus, aren't you? Yeah. If you saw the last series when we went to Avengers Campus for the first time, William's face was everything. It was just everything in it, wasn't it? Have the best time. Will you ever travel to Disneyland California? We'd love to, wouldn't you? Anaheim mm -hmm. Park? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it'd be a dream. It's where it all started, so would really, really love to see that. To compare it and just, just soak up the magic in a slightly different way. Steffi Essex says, we go in December, very excited. Can you post as many Christmas treats as possible, please? Absolutely. I mean, we'd, we're literally just going to aim to experience all of the Christmas treats and snacks and things like that. Just bring you all of the, the stuff that we haven't shown you before because it's seasons specific because obviously when we next go back, it's unlikely to be Christmas. We'll probably be a non-seasonal specific time. Uh, your Clouds Toy Story Bounding Jumper. Please tell me where to find it. My sister sent me a link to that. It was from Joni and it was in the sale, so I don't know if they still have it. Favorite rides, everybody? First um, answer, without thinking about it. I, um, oh, I don't know. Oh, difficult. Space Mountain Crash. Hyperspace. I really Favorite. like Space Mountain Crash and Big Thunder. Yeah, really fast ones, ride. fast ones. Big Thunder Crash. Big Thunder and Crash, Big Thunder and Crash. Is well, it one of the Marvel Indiana ones for you? Uh, like I, I do like Web Adventure is good. And web Adventure like is good. Yeah. As humans, we could strive to be half as happy as William was on that Web Adventure ride. We'd all be very happy people. <laughs> lots and lots of people have asked about um, school and if the school are okay with the children missing school. Now, I, I think that people think I take the children out of school a lot more than I actually do. Um, so the trip in June was completely in half term. Now I understand why people think this is because our half terms in Wales are often quite different to the English ones so we are off when they're in school and vice versa. So our June trip, it was a good trip for us because the prices were a little bit lower because it was our half term but not English half term. They didn't miss any school then at all and in fact even the Monday afterwards was an inset day. And then yeah they did miss a couple of days for the October trip and they will miss a couple of days for this trip but the school have been amazing. The children are doing Duolingo and things to encourage them to speak French so there's a slight educational slant to it but more than anything the school don't have any concerns about their academic progress and they've just been really 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 lovely about it so as it is Williams last year in primary school when he goes to secondary school even if the school gave permission I think I'd be reluctant to want to take him out because I'd worry that perhaps he would feel like he was falling behind in lessons and it would just it just wouldn't be a very nice you know Feel, I don't think you'd want to do. So we're going for these specific dates for work reasons and I have no plans to do any other trips out to school. The other thing is when I organised all these trips, um, it was back when all things were being allowed and it was all very COVID-y anyway. So 
Yeah. So apparently our gate has now been released, our gate details. So that means we should be heading over soon, apparently, um, because we're using the special assistance this time, which um, for those of you who mentioned that, as, as a, we should be doing that. Thank you so much. It's just one of those things that I guess I just didn't even know was available. But it really, I honestly think the, the size on that queue, obviously I couldn't film in security because they don't like you doing that. But besides that queue, um, we would have been a really long time waiting to even get to security. We did still have to wait for a long time once our bags were checked. I got, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I had to go through the scanner, do that thing when you're standing your hands above your head. And then I also had to, um, we had two trays of bags to check, didn't we? Because they, yeah. they I th basically it's all my cameras mm. and batteries and stuff stuck together. And also, and also Mummy was looking away when she went in the scan scanner the first time and then... And they had to scan me again. Daddy for, did have to take off his shoes. Why did you have to take off shoes, yeah? Oh, because he's got uh, this big can't boot. Now. He's got this boot. Maybe I thought it was back home. Because yet again, he's wearing steel toe cap boots. So every time we go into Disney, you're going to have to take off your boots. Yeah, yeah and he has to walk to go in Even if it's raining. Yeah. Mm, he has to walk raining. in his socks to get his boots. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank you. Really you go in and take a picture. Don't go touching any buttons. It's in Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, goodness. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Try and make it look really complex. That's, That's cool. Where are you guys going to sit? Are you going to sit by the window? Yeah, we can't all sit by the window, of course. They yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so take it in turns, one on the way, one on the way back. That's the way to do it, yeah. Well, listen, the weather's going to be lovely. Uh, right. We've just been to Glasgow and it was the windiest I think I've ever seen it. Um, but it's going to be lovely and calm in Paris. Amazing! Yeah, it's going to be lovely. And you guys are going to have an amazing time. Have you been before? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, We've got annual passes. Oh wow! Oh, oh lucky. Like your professionals. I've never been. Oh, you should. Oh, yeah. You definitely should. <laughs> Who are you most excited to see? Yeah. Oh, well, it's the first day of Christmas tomorrow in Disney. Is it? Oh, well, thank you so much. Gravity. If you haven't seen our London vlog, we went to see Wicked. And Zara's been singing Divine Gravity ever since, haven't you, darling? Comes at much to higher cost. No, not the words, not the words, though. No. Okay. has been defying gravity the whole flight, haven't you? But uh, I think everyone 
has been entertained by the performance. Okay. Excited to get off the plane! Yeah. 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 We have just checked into our hotel, which is the Dream Castle Hotel. It's a Disney partner hotel, and based on first impressions, by far the nicest Disney partner hotel we've stayed in so far. Will you agree, guys? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think this place it's like, is lovely. It's the tidiest, the prettiest, the most like. It is neat. right. I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a little room tour before we mess it all up. So as you come in to the first room, we have a. Bathroom in here, we've got pull out mirror, hair dryer, big mirror, sink, shower over the bath, but then into the room. We've got a nice big wardrobe here and mirror. And then these bunks are fantastic. They're really beautiful, like a castle with the little lights under each one. Really kind of magical looking. Huge looking bed. And what I didn't actually realise when I booked it, booked for five people, is that because it only sleeps four, we ended up with adjoining rooms. We've actually got eight beds. Nice desk area with a big mirror, chair. And then if we go out the window, what can we see? I think that's the Explorers where we stayed last time. So first impressions, this place is just lovely. And then this is our adjoining room, which is the exact same room. <laughs> So to give you some idea of the size of the bed, can you um, can you reach either side of the bed, Zara? If you stretch out as big I as you can. can. Can you? No? I can. Can you? Go on then. Ready? It is... Zara. There we go. Give you an idea. It's that big. It's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a pretty big bed, Bells. That's a pretty big bed. So has everyone chosen a bed to bags for tonight? Yeah. yeah because we do need yeah, to think about actually getting to bed as soon as we can because we need to get up and get into Disney tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. Who's excited? Me! Yeah? Zaza, I think you can sleep on a bottom bunk. I, oh. Otherwise, Mummy can't come in, climb in and cuddle you, that's a good enough reason. I think William and Bella, can, you this can probably be trusted on top bunk. This is quite high for a bottom bunk. That is high for a bottom bunk, isn't it? It's usually down here. Like that. So, which, what do you think of the Dream Castle so far? Mummy's bed is about good. this high, and it's really, Mummy's bed is very high. You haven't filmed the, the toilet. And I did about, film the toilet, and don't it's worry. About this is it? And that's I that's higher, is it? That one. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> right, let's find our pajamas, shall we? This is the size of okay. your Okay, but we need to find pajamas so, so that you can go to bed and we can go into Disney tomorrow. Good morning. We've had what could be described as a challenging night. Um, where, oh, the store is it Bell? Where I was up with the children a lot. Um, I saw every hour of last night, exhausted. So we're just going to go and get some breakfast now. But overall, very impressed with this hotel. Very lovely, isn't it, Bells? Yeah. We are ready to go. I've got my Disney Christmas ears and Christmas jumper. Um, you will have seen these outfits in the everything we're wearing 
to Disney video and the pack with me, but also in the London video where we end up going to a Disney PR event and I ended up having to unpack and repack and all sorts. So we're wearing the same outfits, aren't we, Will? Yeah. Will's got his big hat on, Star Wars jumper, Darth Vader yeah. backpack. Although to the event I wore the Mickey bag. Oh, that's true, we did have a different bag, that's a very good point. I'm taking my very versatile red sparkly lounge fly from Truffle Shuffle, and the girls both have Christmas bags from Berry Nico, and fluffy petty skirts, and Christmas jumpers, I think those were from a couple of years ago actually. Right, should we go and get on the shuttle bus and go and explore Christmas in Disneyland? Yes! yes! We're sitting here in the bus stop outside the Dreamcastle Hotel waiting for the Disneyland Paris shuttle bus. I thought I would just chat about a couple of things while we're waiting for the bus. So we have stayed so far since we've had annual passes for Disneyland Paris in three hotels. This is the third one. The first one with the Adagio, which was the cheapest and a pretty basic hotel, wasn't it? Yeah. The location was very good, but I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess. You get what you pay for. It was appropriately priced let's put it that way the explorers we stayed in last time was much much nicer but this one is by far the nicest i would say would you yes, agree so we're going yeah. like half in the nicest i mean this one does cost a little bit more but it's not significantly more than the explorers but, but by booking everything through easyjet i did get extra baggage thrown in for the same price william yeah well what is nice about this hotel it's like feel themed like royal and animal royal yeah theme. the theming is lovely really really lovely um so we've um, obviously oh we haven't been here very long yes sorry it's a really good hotel for the christmas opening because it's got like reindeers and things yes that's true it does have reindeer as the statue on the, in the entrance which isn't seasonal necessarily but works as seasonal stuff a couple of things i wanted to mention because i always always get asked about them I get messages on Instagram all the time saying what are these things on the children's wrists. These are air tags, which are little discs that often people use to locate their keys and things. I put them on the children when we're out in public places with these band things. Um, they're not obviously a replacement for keeping an eye on the children, but they are a really good kind of fail safe backup if you're going places and you want to know roughly which direction they've gone in if for some reason the worst was to happen and you couldn't find them. So they've each got one of those on. And who's allowed to take these off? Only mummy or daddy. Nobody else, not them, not anybody else. So those are the rules. The other question I've been asked a lot is about the Monzo card because it, we used it on the first time on the last trip, which was in the October vlog series. Um, loving it, to be honest. I'd only used it in the UK before October. I primarily got it to use on trips so we wouldn't get the currency conversion fees. But it's just so handy. I really like that when we got back into the country, it gave me a welcome back to the UK. During your trip to France, you spent this much. I mean, if you want, you know, attention drawn to that, how much you spent on a Disney trip. But it sections out how much you spent on various things. It adds up how much you spent each day. It really helps you kind of keep on track of things. And it converts everything that you've spent in euros into pounds in real time. I also have um, pots for each of the children. So money that they, they've had saved for Christmases and birthdays and things, I've got in a Monzo pot with each of their names on it. Because I end up going up to the counter to physically pay in Disney anyway, because I've got the annual pass with the highest discount on it. Then there's no good giving them physical euros and people tend to prefer like, contactless these days anyway. It's no good giving them physical euros to spend. So you each have a Monzo pot, don't you? And you can see, and Mummy shows you, I was showing Bella earlier, how much each of you have in your Monzo pot to spend. And then when they spend money out of it, we sort of mark it up. We can add receipts to it and things. So I really, really like that. If you are thinking of giving it a go, there is a code. It's not, I'm not like working with them. It's not an ad as such, but I do get like a customer referral thing. So I'm just gonna like fully disclose that. Um, if you use this link then you get five pounds when you first use your card and so do i so that's kind of cool so anyway the bus is going to be coming here at 12 19 it's currently 1207 it's much later than we anticipated being um out but it doesn't matter we're here for a few days we can get it all done we had a very late night and i really didn't have enough sleep uh, for various reasons so yeah the, you know we'll just get in we'll just get in and enjoy the magic yeah and we have got reservations for waltz today which is super super exciting Got time for one more question, I think, before the bus comes. And we answered a few in the airport yesterday. Do you ever think you might go on a trip and not vlog it and just be present in the moment with the children? What do you think, guys? No way. Why not? 
because um, you could forget all about it. I mean, I've always been big on capturing the memories of the children, and al- even and before also, I started vlogging. You, your job is to vlog, so then you get more money, so then we can go again. Yes, in a roundabout sort of way, that is right. I mean, part of the reason we're able to come is because I vlog it. So we're, I'm able to give my children these experiences because I film the vlogs, which I don't actually find it spoils the magic. I don't feel I'm not in the moment. I, I actually, like, I, I don't know, it just... I guess even before I was vlogging, I was taking loads and loads and loads of pictures. I've been big on like capturing the moments. Um, now they're just captured. I just edit them better. I do obviously I film a lot more. I film a lot more on a Disney trip than I would on a normal trip because obviously we do a whole vlog, vlog series for a Disney Channel. But you guys enjoy watching them back, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And to be honest, every time I put the camera away, what do you say, Bella? Um, you need to vlog this. You need to vlog that. because you want to remember it, don't you? Yeah. I want to remember it, Mummy. I want to remember it. Get your camera out, take a picture. I remember from the cruise because of the videos. I can't. I think most of the views on those cruise vlogs are actually you, because you've watched them so many times. <laughs> so no, I don't actually personally feel it. It it does detract or spoil it. I love capturing it, and obviously, as I say because it's part of my job, it does mean that I can continue to bring you on these trips, which is kind of magical, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we are now ready to go into Disneyland Paris to experience Christmas at Disneyland Paris for the very first time Yay! on the opening day of the Christmas season. And you can catch the rest of our day in this vlog up here just as soon as it is live. Thanks so much for watching. Do forget to like and subscribe and do all the YouTube things so you do not miss any upcoming vlogs and turn on the bell as well because you're supposed to do that, aren't you? See you guys soon.